Mr. R wanted us to learn, and I, Kiana Williams, and I, Courtney O'Neill, from his third period chemistry, have learned to an A plus level. The following concepts from the first 12 chapters of our chemistry book. This is not an inclusive list, but my selection of concepts from each chapter that I will remember. Chapter 1 Intro to Chemistry. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Chapter 2 Matter and Change. An extensive property is a property that depends on the amount of matter in a sample. Chapter 3, Scientific Measurement. Measurement is a quantity that has both a number and a unit. Chapter 4, Atomic Structure. An atom is the smallest particle of an element that retains its identity in a chemical reaction. Chapter 5, Electrons and Atoms. When the electron has its lowest possible energy, the atom is at ground state. Uh, chapter 6, The Periodic Table. Metals are good conductors of heat and electric current. Chapter 7, Ionic and Metallic Bonding. Valence electrons are the electrons in the highest occupied energy level of an element's atoms. Chapter 8, Covalent Bonding. The atoms held together by sharing electrons are joined <laughs> by the covalent bond. Chapter 9, Chemical Names and Formulas. Monatomic ions consist of a single atom with a positive or negative charge resulting from the loss or gain of one or more valence electrons. Chapter 10, Chemical Quantities. You often measure the amount of something by one of three different methods, count, mass, and volume. Chapter 11, Chemical Reactions. A chemical equation is a representation of a chemical reaction. The formulas of the reactants on the left are connected by an arrow with the formulas of the products on the right. <laughs> Chapter 12, Stoichiometry. A balanced chemical equation can be interpreted in terms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in terms of different quantities, including numbers of atoms, molecules, or moles, mass, and volume. Yay!